Hello, every pony. My name is Benjamin Brody. I'm Captain War Sarcy. I'm Kensel AK on Crepper. And this is Brony Trio Radio. Woo! <laughs> quick, <laughs> and quick, and quick unrelated pony announcement. Uh, as of the date of this recording, it's the third birthday of Payday 2! Woo! No. Just have to say that, because that's my favorite video oh. game. Nice. Oh, is that what that, an that, was that what that announcement thing was? That yes. Me? I just have to say it, because it's ah. my favorite video game, and I just saw it, like, at midnight. I was like, oh my god! And it's the good four game. new masks yeah. they gave us are furry masks, so... <laughs> even bigger! Woo! 28 pricks later? 28 pricks later or something like that? Yeah. I don't know, what, what a very obscure name. I believe it's 15. All right. <clears throat> yeah, this was a uh, another Rainbow Dash episode. Another one. Another one. Why? Ben's second favorite pony this season. <laughs> Why? There's rain and there's Rainbow Dash and there's too much. <laughs> what the? But um, yeah. Uh, this episode was. Pretty good, actually, uh, despite uh, what some people said uh, before this episode started. I actually kind of liked it. <laughs> it was pretty good. The, um, what was it called? It wasn't actually boring. To me, at least. So, so what you, would you mostly like about it? Mmm. I don't know, I guess maybe the, uh, that Rainbow Dash got him taste her own medicine, maybe? I guess, I guess that. <laughs> that, was, that was a nice change of pace. Except she never seems to learn. Yeah, really. <clears throat> There's a lot of things mini ponies don't ever learn, even though they go to the same thing over and over. Like rarity with conforming. Oh yeah, I remember that. She was just like, "Oh, I have to be the same to get do it," but she's like, "Oh, I don't want to be the same with my dresses." The two-faced bitch. He's bipolar. I just like to see that. <laughs> that beginning part where Spike was, when she was pricking Spike and he was uh, sending all his letters to Celestia. I always <laughs> wanted to see that all the letters like just pour into Celestia. Because we haven't seen uh, them send a letter to Celestia in a while. No, I know. And, and, I like, and she like totally part. suffocates and uh, then uh, <laughs> they get charged with murder. Spam oh god. Murder. <laughs> murder. Death by <laughs> bananas. <laughs> I'm getting spammed with emails. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I should have gone to all those that. porn sites. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh god. I shouldn't have torn to all this porn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, taste my subscription to the hot stallion. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, but it, it was a kind of an interesting car. No, don't cut out now. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was our uh, third guest. Uh. I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> like there were. <laughs> I don't know. We don't. We don't know either because we didn't hear any of it. Let's let's uh, guess what he said. He, uh, said, uh, he said that more he episodes. said that he wants Rarity in him, and uh, he also that um, Rarity and Rainbow Dash are best pony. And uh, mm. the whole season should be replaced by them. That they are the show without them. Uh, that he'd leave the fandom. It needs to be Princess Rarity Dash, where they're both morphed into a giant mucus blob. I got. The lag, and then though. they fight the Power Rangers. Oh my god. Yeah, except more like... The lag's real. Bloody. Are you here with us for good this time? Nope, he's not. Moving on. <laughs> I, I guess I'll take this opportunity to say what I like. Uh, Alright. Well, for one, uh, there was that Pinkie Pie scrunched up face. Uh... She did one of those faces, and uh, for two, uh, um, Rainbow Dash got what was coming to her. Please, it's gonna be. 
Finally! And only a matter of time before she makes the same mistake again, probably the next season. Or in like two season. seasons. I don't know if I want to place a bet on that, even though I'm damn good at doing predictions. But I've, I, you know what? I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to get back into the prediction business. She's going to make a mistake like that again, and uh, she's going to have to relearn her lesson. And <sighs> that's, that's, that's about it for there. But, and another thing I liked was the zombie uh, portion. I actually yeah. think we need more zombie uh, like zombie related episodes. In fact, it'd be nice if there was actually like a spell gone wrong that maybe would be uh, turning ponies into zombies. That'd be interesting. Because I wasn't expecting the, this episode to take that kind of turn. I was like, oh, this is unexpected. Thing, and pretty much the only thing I can say maybe that I uh, disliked was the fact that uh, she kept trying to that she scared uh rain uh, she scared fluttershy and she had no problem with it at all i thought it was like the most hilarious thing ever <laughs> and even though uh because the rule of thumb is like don't mess with rain or with fluttershy she's so poor and innocent she broke the golden rule that son of a gun the golden rule, don't prank Fluttershy from season one. Yep. Don't touch clowns, let the clowns touch you. Wrong thing. This, this feels like a um, season two or three episode. I don't know, that's why I'm getting the vibe from it, but it's just kind of similar to gripping the brush off at the beginning. So it kind of has a feel of... I don't know, it kind of feels like it's going back to its roots in a weird way. You know, the doesn't really have a is it moral or thing it needs to teach, but it's an entertaining episode regardless. Also, it's cute well, yeah. seeing it's cute seeing uh, Pinkie Pie act like a zombie. Her voice is so adorable. Mm, yeah, you of all people would like that because you like the end shit. <laughs> also, <laughs> all the artwork we're gonna see from this. Oh yeah. Even though I still haven't gotten to uh, making my last week's spoof episode, I already know what I'm going to do with this one <laughs> when I get around to it. Heck yes. The part with um, yeah. the cake when uh, was Rainbow Dash put the Kimrick Sider uh, outfit on top of the cake. For some reason, I got a saw vibe from that. Like, <laughs> like, and it felt like a trap. Like, how are we gonna get this down from there? I, I, I that's why I got the vibe from it. I like to play a game. The cake, sweetie bell, and chest it is for cyanide. The cure is at the top of the cake. How far will it go to save your sister? That doesn't need to make any sense. I'll destroy her! Oh. Is that one particular part? One word for you. Cookie! <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Cookie Monster? Maybe. And maybe, uh, Vinny the Squirrel from Over the Hedge. I want my <laughs> cookie! I also like that. The Kimmer Crusaders are still, still doing the stuff. cookie! <laughs> yeah, how the Kimmer Crusaders, they, they're finally... Well, they, they've finally been doing stuff still, even though they got their Kimmer marks. I like they're doing that still. The, yeah, 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 yeah nice that's that's their that's their third cutie mark. Uh, cookies, <laughs> selling oh, <yeah>. cookies. <laughs> no cookies. Period. It's not selling cookies. It's cookies. <laughs> just cookies. <laughs> yes. Everything that has to do with a cookie, <laughs> including the power to transform <laughs> into a cookie, a super mutant, <laughs> cookie. including the power. To act like you were a zombie because you ate a cookie that turned you into a zombie. Yeah, because that's a power that you have to have the power in order to do so. It's a side effect. Oh boy. That, <laughs> that sold separately. Adult supervision required. <laughs> um, or, well, or else it won't work. There has to be adult round. <laughs> uh, it sucks the life out of the adults. <laughs> you didn't ask the I was it called. Oh, we didn't like, right? Or did you? Um, or did you do it? How did you do it? 
I already went with what I didn't. Or, yeah. all right. So, pretty much right. Overall, I liked <clears throat> almost everything about this episode because it felt like a like an old kind of season episode. So, I guess we'll just go into what we didn't like. Which mm. I'm not. I'm not sure what we didn't like. But starting with I mean, Benjamin, uh, would you not like? I um, I actually like. I mean. I mean, okay, I'm gonna say obviously again, I didn't like that it was another Rainbow Dash episode, even though it couldn't really have been another episode without Rainbow Dash. Well, not what I mean by that. I mean, like, it couldn't have been a, a uh, prank one without Rainbow Dash, because she's kind of like the prank pony. Um, this was like, oh, it's so much Rainbow Dash, it's annoying. I mean, like... Did you notice that in the end it was left down to Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Applejack, just like the previous episode? <laughs> I was like, "Oh my God, they're doing it again! We Too know, much!" We know who the survivor is gonna be. It's gonna be like Walking Dead. <laughs> Everyone else is gonna die, but Rarity, Applejack, and Apple. no. Rainbow Dash are gonna be the last one standing. No, I want and my they're gonna, use, they're gonna use the CMC as bait. They're just gonna throw them right out there to save their own lives. Yeah. <laughs> the nature's gonna take its course. <coughs> their key mark in survival. <laughs> Whatever that would look like. Second yeah, that's, that's all I really didn't like. I just didn't like that it's still like that. Because this episode was really really good. I mean, it, despite like the rest of the, the season kind of being a meh season, this one was actually pretty good. I already, I already told you that the fact that I didn't like this he was uh, pranking Fluttershy and thinking that it was like all perfectly normal, most hilarious thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I didn't uh, know if you yeah. That would be. Oh, I didn't that know would be you. my my only uh, complaint about the episode too. Yeah, yeah. You're very good. But yeah, I don't know if you caught that Benjamin, but yeah, my worst actually didn't like it, the fact that they broke the golden rule and pranked uh, Fluttershy. Hmm. I mean, pranking Fluttershy is just like the cheap way to get a laugh because it's yeah, like she's Fluttershy. Mean. I mean, come on. That's what, that's what they mentioned at the beginning. I know it's a whoopee cushion. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like that they did the whoopee cushion thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that got me really to crack up. That was great. <laughs> Wait, because it was I have track. another complaint about the episode. What? Starlight Glimmer was not in the background of this episode whatsoever. What? Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, since we're in the same. Why they leave out her? Since we're yeah, in but yeah. They, they, that's something I just noticed. Uh, we, we really haven't m noticed that she's been missing, really. That's the point. Well, I, we haven't even noticed her. That's why it's bad. BTK6 is yeah. bad, but that's what I didn't like. About. Um, I kind of wanted to see a reaction of Rainbow Dash pranking Starlight. Because I don't know what how Starlight would react. Because I want, want to go... Want and prank, murder everyone. Yeah, go back want, to your old evil I want ways. The prank to go bad. <laughs> I want the prank to go bad and Starlight... Magically explode Rainbow Dash's head. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. That'd be great. Also, no Discord. This would have been nice for Discord to prank episode, but he's off. Oh yeah. Well, I, we're getting a Discord episode this season. I missed so. so many opportunities in this episode. I just realized that. So where the heck is yeah, Discord really. when this happens? He's like, oh, I wonder what Discord would be thinking this whole time. He's like in his ultra well, dimension or something. I mean, like, it was only like a Ponyville type thing. Nobody really else knew about it. Yeah. But Discord lives I mean, with Fluttershy. Discord knows all. No, he don't. He lives in his Fluttershy own dimension. Fluttershy would uh, tell uh, Discord probably after this episode. Write like, oh, really a, <laughs> a nice letter to him. Oh, yeah. Hey, Discord, we don't include you in or this talk episode. to him over tea about it. I need you to help me get revenge. <laughs> yeah. Revenge. Prank her in the next episode. They're gonna have a changeling be uh, one of the main characters to replace uh, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait for this changeling episode. This is gonna be good. It is. So the, the beginning of this episode remind me of because when Rainbow Dash, right at the very beginning before the intro, she uh, was dressed as a changeling. It would look like. Or a timber wolf. Oh yeah, it kind of did look like a changeling. Yeah, when she scared off Flourishing. That could have been a really wolf. cool looking, like actual like pony animal. <laughs> timber changeling. Timber, timber wolf. changeling. Changeling wolf. Oh my god. Kind of looks like, <laughs> like I mentioned. Uh, looks like Alpha has a picture of Berry Punch. Y you'll see it when Just I. Just a picture of Berry Punch. 
I know, it went in her bedroom. I'll, I'll show it in the throw up thing in the editing, but yeah. You just, you just said in your bedroom. In my bedroom? Mm -hmm. in no. Her, her bedroom. Alright, so, bring the guest. Yeah, it's around the 15 mark. Okay, Guests. cool, we can bring in the guest now. Uh, so, okay, um, we're gonna introduce them. And, uh, now it's time to introduce both of our guests. And these are some very special guests because we know these two people from Everfree Northwest. Uh, kind of horse famous, Selfie Pony and his friend Crusader. The wingman. Uh, <clears throat> wingman. More like boy. I mean, never mind. For when. Is he. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody. Hey. Hey. And there goes Crusader! Oh. Woo! Hey, welcome to Rancher. <laughs> this is how much he didn't like the episode. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm out of here. I think mean, he actually seemed to like the episode besides me, so. I'm Selfie Pony, and this um, is my cult friend, Crusader. What? Okay, now let me say okay. this. <laughs> I'm Crusader, and this is my best friend, Selfie Snapshots. Girlfriend. <laughs> it's a one way relationship. <laughs> I am the best mare friend who's lesbian, so you can't touch me. <laughs> you can't touch me, Crusader. Oh, I, I like <laughs> girls. <laughs> I don't want to anyway. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Um, okay. Anyways, so, uh, let's continue. <laughs> yeah, I think that we we're gonna use that anyway. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> um, so both you guys, we always ask this to every one of our guests. Uh, how did both you guys get in the fandom? We're gonna first ask Selfie, then we'll ask oh. Crusader. So, first uh, it all started a long time ago. Um, let's think. Uh, well, I guess I'll do a short version because my past consists of breakup high school club of anime club. Then I made my own high school club. Then we raised money to go to Everfree Northwest 2014, where I decided to take a selfie with Dusty Cat. Him strangling me made me think, damn, this is pretty good. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I ended up um, taking selfies with everybody I came across, all the cosplayers, because the words of my mother rang through my head. When you get up there, all you'll see is fedoras and neckbeards. <laughs> and I was like, I should prove her wrong. So I started taking selfies, and before I knew it, I hit 100. And then I started hanging a sign from my neck, and then I somehow got 200. And that was the story of me in 2014. The character came in development because I had an old OC, a very <laughs> shitty looking OC named Meadow Song. Same, literally looks like Selfie blind. Pony from the Pony Creator. And one of my friends drew her, and I came up with selfie snapshots. And basically, now, I just go to cons, take selfies, and for some reason, all the cons on the West Coast love me. And that is my story. And in this process, I met Crusader, because I was a fan of his music, and he started talking to me. <laughs> He's a fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, actually. That was kind of cool, actually. I, remember, I don't... I mean, I guess I remember seeing you at Everfree, but I don't really remember ever interacting with you. Yeah, the, uh, I, I used to be very socially awkward. I still am. I'm surprised I am where I am today. <laughs> I'm the guy who's, in quotes, horse famous for fun, even though that's not even a good term to use. It's fine. I don't take any of this seriously. I mean, I do. I love meeting my fans. I love meeting the people who know me like you guys. It's just that this whole thing is just a lot of fun, and I enjoy every minute of it. It's good if it's well, fun. I don't expect to become super famous from this, like other people do when they make content. They, I just do this for fun and with my friends. I have a studio now, so... You understand, I mean, we're gonna get you with Google and everything, it's gonna be awesome. He's gonna be the shit. <laughs> no, 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 with Google. Don't worry, we're never gonna be famous. <laughs> Our One internet's day. gonna uh, be so good. Anyways, Crusader, you wanna, you wanna? Uh, so is this how we got into the fandom, or how we got into the show, or yeah, both? Yeah, got into the fandom. Oh, I thought you just went oh, on well, how I became me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> your I, uh, your story works good too. Okay. Okay. I uh, what was I gonna say? Well, I was into the show like in my senior year of high school, so like mid two thousand eleven, um, and a friend showed it to me, and I just started marathoning it. And um, the show just always inspired me to create more music. I've been passionate about music my whole life, essentially. But uh, yeah, the show was just inspiring me, but I didn't totally get into making fan music until 2013, 
in my sophomore year of college. And um, I sort of just did it as a fun side project. I didn't really intend to get super popular doing it. It's just a fun thing to do on the side. Mm. Uh, but it started taking off and the show just kept inspiring me. And that's really it. And I still love making fan music. Sweet. Now he complains every time a con doesn't accept him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, I'm you just know. explaining why they're wrong. I'm you kidding. know, you're just like Chi Chi <laughs> totally acted like you yesterday. She's like, oh, oh, if if the con doesn't accept me, I understand. And I'm like, understand what? You guys are super talented. Cons would be lucky to have you. I say the same thing to you, Crusader, as I said to her yesterday. Oh, by the way, Chi Chi got the spot, Crusader. <laughs> oh, cool. Yes. That means the animation's gonna be out soon for me, for the brownie can animation. Awesome. Awesome? Okay. Sweet. So that's backstory. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, so now we're gonna ask you, uh, what did you guys like about the episode? Okay, the one redeeming factor, in my opinion, for this episode is the Celestia face. When Celestia <laughs> gets like covered in just the letters and stuff, I found that funny. And to be honest, that is the funniest scene in this episode. <laughs> covered in the spam emails. <laughs> yes, it, it just reminds me of just spam emails and just like spam. It's just literal spam. Yeah. I guess that is, like, my favorite part of the episode. I mean, to be comp uh, Crusader, what was your favorite part before I get into why, what I really think of the episode? Okay, my favorite part... Uh, I guess... Let me think. I guess just the concept of every pony turning into zombies for a bit, you know? Uh, just, uh, yeah, it was weird, and it was just a funny concept, and I liked the idea. This was a fun episode. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> He's like, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. For years, the whole zombie thing has been dead to me because of the fact of how big Walking Dead was. I mean, they don't even call them zombies on Walking Dead. I'm not a big fan of Walking Dead, by the way. I should just state that for one. I mean, the only character that has redeeming qualities is Glenn, and I, I relate to him. But besides that, I'm not really into the Crusader background noise. Wait, what'd you say? You have so much background noise. Oh my god. This is the chance for a spike to say, is it zombies? Is it zombies? Uh, not very likely. Not likely, but possible? The entire city was infested with zombies. It's it's not zombies. Zombie ponies. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, if Rainbow Dash was, I, I'm gonna be completely honest. If she actually would have just sat down and thought about it, she would have probably easily seen that none of it was real. That it was a big prank. But she, no, her <laughs> ego didn't want her to let her do that. Of course, She's not a good thinker. She isn't a good thinker, and I mean, this whole episode is basically Rainbow Dash being a total asshole to everyone, and everybody getting back to her. Okay, can I just- can I say something in Rainbow Dash's defense? What? I think the pranks that she pulled on the other ponies were far less harmless compared to what they did to her. Well, because she legitimately thought that everyone turned into a zombie and was actually going thing. to hurt her. Whereas that's her thing. pranks were like, oh, this device is a cake now. Oh, I this is a know. boulder now. Oh, you know, oh, like, this is well, okay. her, her, her pranks were far less harmless compared to what they did to her. Harmless? So like, Not really. She broke that pony's teeth. In the oh, sandwich? Yeah. Mr. The brick? Is right. Mr. Cakes. Yeah, she broke Mr. Cakes' teeth. Okay, that's and she made freaking the donkey uh, um, Yankee Doodle smell like crap because of the skunk. <laughs> oh, and no, so that's no, really that's uncool. Too. I mean, I think yeah. that, that I stuff like stays compared, on you for a week. <laughs> compared to what they did her though, I think okay. her pranks were not that bad. Smart enough. If she was smart enough, she would have already seen that none of that was real. Like I keep saying, like it's just ridiculous on how she thought it was real and. It was so obvious. I mean, I already knew it wasn't real. As soon as, like, I saw the concept of, oh, it's zombies, like, the cookies, there were nothing wrong with it. I mean, she just put rainbow paste in it. That's a big prank. I mean, the fact that she says, I rainbowed them in the mouth, I took that very wrongly, by the way. <laughs> I mean, that, okay, maybe that, that part was that really funny. 
<laughs> I mean, rainbow dash, rainbow dashing them in the mouth is. Yes. Mm, uh... One other thing, to point out that I didn't like about it. Uh, Derpy wasn't in here. Oh. oh yeah, there was no Derpy, no but second. there was Doctor Hooves. I saw Doctor Hooves. Yeah, Doctor yeah, Hooves. There was no Lyra. Uh, Lyra. No, there was Lyra. Lyra was there was Lyra? At one yeah. part, yeah, when they were oh, in the- Okay, I didn't Derpy. see that. Okay, I must have not seen it. I, I like Lyra. No Zombified Derpy. Okay, maybe it is redeeming. No, just kidding. <laughs> this isn't my favorite Rainbow Dash episode of the season. Like, I like the last one, like, the Daring Do one. I actually really like that one. That one was a good one. That one was really good for a Rainbow Dash episode. Because I like this one more. You like that one more? <laughs> this one more. Oh boy, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> eh, I don't know. I mean, it's just my whole opinion on it. Eh. Hmm. In fact, this episode, has made me, this episode has made me get over the fact that there's been too much rarity or rainbow dash. That's how okay, much I like this. I, I would have been mad if it was a rarity episode because there's too much rarity. I want to Starlight. Ah, uh, yes, I like agree. Starlight. Or yes, even... I want Starlight. Wait, this whole... Okay, the whole season has already been the Starlight half hour. You know, I love the Starlight half hour though. She's cute and my She's... eye through. I like her and I like to see more development in her, but she's been in too many episodes. It's been around her too much. Honestly. She needs to go on a nice date with um, uh, Sunburst. That's what she needs. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, okay. So, I already saw, saw enough of that in Ponytown. Okay, I take that back. If they're gonna if they're gonna bring her back, at least have her go on a date with Sunburst, because they're meant to be together. They are. Yes. They are. And I wasn't God. Sunburst at Everfree Northwest, but I still took out that Starlight Glimmer. <laughs> oh, wow. That was so healthy. <laughs> that was... that was a fun drunkness. <laughs> Alright. Um, I mean, we might... you might have already, uh... Just uh, said it actually, but uh, what? just what you what you didn't like about the episode. Just I just recap. said everything I didn't like about the episode. Okay, I yeah. said recap. You just be like, I don't like this. Then <laughs> basically, bottom line is I don't like the episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't like the whole thing. All right. <laughs> well, minus the Celestia part because that made me laugh. <laughs> all right. I mean, out of all the season six episodes, because I prefer season six, I'm actually really liking how season six is going. Minus that episode, I feel. That is not so. an episode I would show my daughter, so, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, just a question for both of you guys. Uh, did you know a mouthwash contains 5% alcohol? Yes. Like what calcium. the fuck? Yes, you didn't know that? And it provides, um, uh, cancer. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you didn't know that? Let me retort. <laughs> what the fuck are you on about? I, um, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know you're <laughs> doing <laughs> Yeah, also, did you know I'm wearing my tie to go along with it? Interesting. Did you know I'm wearing my tie? Oh my lord. Do you know <laughs> the magnitude of his tie? Wait, he's no, I don't. Crusader? <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. What is going on? This I have no clue This episode is the one that probably made me laugh the most out of all of our BTRs. <laughs> I don't know why. Best <laughs> reaction ever to the tie. You know, I was gonna find something to drink this morning, but I woke up like literally like an hour ago. I was gonna take like shots or something and then come on here, but then I didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You gonna take shots you know before coming up here? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sophie, don't have an interview while you're drunk. <laughs> I'd be like any celebrity. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god. No, no, Did that's so hey, I would be promoting Berry Tube, and they love me. Berry Tube are my friends, and they drink a lot, and they are horses. <laughs> I think Berry Tube was. Oh no, I don't think they were at TrotCon. Never mind. But I do. They're not I do at know that con, but they are at BabsCon Everfree, and at yeah. BabsCon there's a whole. Okay, you know at BabsCon there's a whole like floor just for a big party. For every, anyone 21 yeah, plus. We, we heard about that. I went with my brony club uh, up there one year. And <laughs> Very yeah, they have their own room. Yeah. And I think I'm invited uh, to take as many drinks as I want. Because I am me. Watch the liver. <laughs> nice. Oh boy. Uh, you know, okay, speak. Uh, oh, wait. Let's continue. <laughs> um, I was. What was it called? I, I don't think we heard what Crusader just recap of what he didn't like. Oh, what did you not like, Crusader? 
I guess the episode was kind of predictable, even if yeah, I did that's like why the I didn't idea. Like it. <laughs> mm. it was it was really pretty predictable, but it was still like entertaining. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it a lot. <laughs> I agree. Okay, um, uh, you were gonna say something before I said that. Oh no. me? Or me? I think selfie. Oh, um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, this, you know, speaking of Everfree, as you talked earlier, and we had fun. We had a lot of fun, all of us, at Everfree 2016. I think we all did. I found my con vlogs. <laughs> speaking of, like, I have a vlog, and I have a very decent recording from when I took a selfie with M.A. Larson, and he signed my princess poster, but also, I got him to dab. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Larson. So weird. I, I know he did. I have the Larson dab on thing, but Peter knew is just laughing his ass off at M.A. Larson because I'm forcing him to do this. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Uh. Actually, no, that was a compliment. Uh, Crusader, you can rap uh, now. I was thinking to do something new for once for our conclusion, uh. How about we close with a question for uh, the viewers? This isn't uh, really. We're not live streaming yet. I, cause I saw, cause I saw um, somebody uh, say this on a question. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it was like last week uh, in the episode discussion. But uh, does everybody think that uh, season five isn't that memorable? What do y'all? Um, I respectfully disagree. I think I season mean, five was great. I mean, season five was um, great. It has the, the Countess. Rara, it has Rara. Rara Rara's episode made. It has Rara. It has Best Pony Starlight Glimmer. It has episode one hundred. Yeah, episode one hundred. Um, there is um CMC getting their cutie marks. Yeah. 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 That did happen then. This is a that was a very memorable episode. That is a very memorable season. So I don't know how is the cutie marker skaters getting their cutie marks? Episode one hundred with all the fan service, the equality village. How is any of that unmemorable? Who said it was unmemorable? Freaking! I I don't remember. (laughs) Whoever that is, they have to be new to the fandom because that that season is literally one of the highlight seasons of My Little Pony in this season series. It was, it was only, it was only season that had an episode that made me genuinely cry. Season 3 is probably the most non-memorable, in my opinion. I season agree. Is, uh, it's it my least favorite. The, the only long. memorable thing is Twilight gets turned into a princess. Oh, yeah. Mark it. Yeah. <laughs> Mark it. Is that and also King Sombra. Those are the only two things. That's the premiere and end finale. <laughs> yep. Yep. King Takito. So that's why what you wanted to add to the end of this episode? Of course, yes. <laughs> yes. A qu- Just a question. Question. For, question for the viewers. Do you think uh, season 5 was uh, memorable? And what do you uh, remember most? You heard like about fuck down below. <laughs> Prompt. <laughs> Alright. Alright, um, time to wrap this thing up. Uh, <laughs> thank you, everypony, for watching Brewing Tree Radio and tuning in. Uh, this episode was 28 pranks later, I believe. Some random twenty-eight number, twenty number. I don't know. <laughs> Numbers. Uh, what I, believe it, later. I believe it was episode fifteen. Um, yeah, I believe so. Uh, so I think that was episode today, fourteen Pony. that we watched. Uh, no. It was episode fifteen, twenty-eight planks later. Oh, Woo! never mind. You're right. You other people yeah. need to look up the information. <laughs> we know. We know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, team. Every, po- every Thanks, pony. Everybody. Everybody. Bye. Thanks for having us. Really Bye. Sorry, see now you all in the stable. Yeah. See you in the stables. Hey, that's my line, bitch. Oh, I can say it. I can see say it too. You're fired. <laughs> I just said it. <laughs> I know where you live now. Remember? <laughs> I know where you live. <laughs> you don't know what apartment. Oh my god. I waste. Look, shout out to uh, Suki from uh, Otaku Ascending for doing the live stream. They're awesome, guys. Stop your dog! Why is that fucking dog barking? Holy fuck. Uh. 
Alright, so where are you ready? Mm. Fly! Okay, so we're ready to start. Who the fuck is hammering on their tent thing? <laughs> like, ah. Crusader, mute your mic. For now. Uh, wait, I'm, wear I'm wearing headphones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing headphones. No, mute your mic, we can still hear you typing. Oh. They gotta do their beginning thing, and then we unmute when they need us. Oh, we have to mute, okay. Yes. <laughs> This isn't Discord, we can't <laughs> mute you. Oh. Oh my lord. <laughs> were you recording that? Because I can go into bloopers. No, I wasn't, unfortunately. Oh, no. That was great. <laughs> right now your internet's being us. crappy. What? No, that's, that's Benjamin. It's perfect. What? What's happened? <laughs> your voice cut out. Really? It was funny though. It always yeah. it, it, that every single fucking time I try and do the first one. Oh, that has a picture of a berry punch. Oh boy. <laughs> what? Somebody recall him. He must have. I don't even know what went wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna text him. <laughs> wow, Christine, right you're when you died. called this you're on, and he just right. no, the, the pressure got to him. Oh my god. That's you must be visually seen, and then the stage fright goes away. <laughs> that's how much he did. <laughs> I'll get him back. I'll get him back. I just sent him a text message. I'm like, where'd you go? They just introduced us. I wish you could have been there when Crusader was playing the piano, because he played Bruno Mars, and me and him, I got very emotional. My name's gonna be Sophie Snapshots. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> just the first person. And really? I was thinking maybe if I improve a little bit, I would actually give the piano a try myself. I, I've just never been willing to really perform uh, in front of others. That's why I've always uh, used a piano app and put in my headphones. Yeah, we should, yeah, we should continue. We should probably continue. Okay. We're having fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, please, because, uh, yeah. Again. I can change sonner. <laughs> what kind of show do you think this is? This is a kids show. Rainbow Dash versus the Not Evil Man. Sure as hell. <laughs> evil, Evil Rainbow. <laughs> no, not my. It's not not a best children's one. show. Rainbow Dead. Oh, it's the bro, no, no, Cookie Dead. It would be called Cookie Dead, and then it would be like Evil Dead. <laughs> I was hope you know someone, someone better make a meme out of Rainbow Dash in that episode saying put that cookie down. <laughs> <laughs> someone better do it. In fact, maybe I'll do it. I hope, I hope to hear a remix of it. Yeah. Um, here, let me. I can't believe they accepted the song, Crusader. No one is standing. I wish they would have asked. You.